Never mind. I was just saying that the while I was sitting, I looked really short. Are you comfortable? Mm hmm. Okay, go to the food. No, no. <laughs> go on then. This is probably not the last time you see of him, but it might take a while before you see him again because he told me how many days just to have him seated here to do this video. Can you imagine? Since I, when? I am available. This is what? I mean, Four days. They usually say they can afford me, so. Yeah, right. Hey guys, we are back with a special guest who's going to be rating one of Malawi's favorite boarding school snacks. So in the previous video, I showed you how to roast corn maize and groundnut. And now we have soaked the maize overnight and we have added milk, sugar, powdered milk, sugar and the groundnuts. And this is how we had it. Like this is the poshest way you could have it. But if you didn't have enough, you know, concoctions, the most you could do is add sugar. You could have the, the maize on its own, but I've decided to add the groundnuts because we are so posh right here. So my husband, Jude, <laughs> who gives permission for me to be in front of this camera. I wonder why she laughed when she called my name, but oh. It's because of the way you looked at me. Okay. Yeah. Hello, fans of Kalisha's Love. Uh, my name is Jude Madubike, Caroline's husband, Zadi, approver, director, you know. But um, I'm not on a duress, by the way. So this is by choice. <laughs> but yeah, welcome to Kalisha's Love's channel. And um, we're here to, yeah, taste some uh, maize and granite soaked in milk. Let's go. Okay, so Jude is Nigerian, and for the Nigerians that are here, I think the closest comparison to this, I would say, is Gary. It depends. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. without I, I, I get Gary, from. without the Gary itself, so put maize we instead. Put, we we put granite as well. Yeah, you guys put granite. This one has the black, you know, the shell. He, does, the, he doesn't the like skin. the groundnut peels. The he wants shell, the peels but not the shell, the skin. skin. Is it yeah, the skin. The skin yeah. yeah, we don't like that. He, 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 doesn't like that. But it sticks to your teeth and it's. But it's nutritious. Okay. My husband is picking with food. I'm not, not. I'm, I'm not. I don't think I'm picking. I like noodles. In the meat. We're not talking about. I it. can't be picking ah! food if I like in the meat. gonna taste it. To be honest, I don't have high hopes for this because we have piggy people right here. So do you want to taste, babe? Sure, sure. You, and, you don't want to feed me. So he does. His 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 teeth is very fragile. So it's better for him to taste the soft one. Than the roasted one. Mm. Okay. So, oh, you, you, want me to, <laughs> <laughs> you need a medic. Can I take more milk to soak it up? Right. I can tell you what this is like. Mm. By the way, I don't know if she put a lot of sugar in this. I don't like sugary stuff. But this is a bit sugary. Well, the groundnut is normal. Sorry, I'm still chewy. I didn't soak the groundnut. It's still chewy, so it's a chewy food. So, you know, back in Nigeria, well, most people, Nigerian people relate, relate, we fry corn, you know, corn, corn on the hops, corn on the mm -hmm. cob. So, for fry um, or grill it, you know, the corn, when the corn comes out from the cobs, it's exactly the same thing. Yeah, is this fresh corn or fresh corn. fresh corn? Okay. Imagine you soak fresh corn in milk. Basically, that's it. So it's maize, isn't it? Yeah, it's maize. I've just yeah. soaked it. Yeah. yeah. It's not bad. It's good. I don't think I'll go out of my way. <laughs> I told you he's picky. <laughs> I just, I might as well have Sarah like. It's, it's a Malawian snack. It's, it's, I don't think in Nigeria you have it. The reason why I like it is because it reminds me of boarding school. If I hadn't had it in boarding school, I don't think I'll go out of my way and make it. He likes it. It's not too bad, but he wouldn't go out of his way to eat it. So that, that's fine. Correct. I understand. I'm actually even glad that he, he likes it because I, I felt like he would say no. <laughs> I think it's the milk that did the trick. Okay, so we're just going to ask each other a few questions. Five questions about boarding school because mm -hmm. we both went to boarding school. He went to boarding school in Nigeria. I went to boarding school in Malawi. So the first question is, at what age did you go to boarding school? I was 10 years old, 9 months. Well, 10 years, 11 months. 
Because I started school in September. So he was just probably 11, 11 years. He was a big boy then, yeah. I went to boarding school when I was 8. Uh, I believe I was 8 at the time. Are you talking about secondary school here? Or no, boarding school in general. The oh. first time I went to boarding school. Okay, mine was secondary school, by the way. I was in primary school, I was 8 years old. It must have been, I think, 2000, if not 1999. And actually, the first boarding school I went to, I ran away. <laughs> I was that young. I ran away. <laughs> Uh, the reason why my parents sent me to boarding school, me and my siblings to boarding school earlier, is because I guess where we live, they didn't want us to be home all the time. They just wanted us, you know, to get some discipline. They weren't home all the time, so they felt like sending us to boarding school would provide that environment that was a bit controlled. Same applies. Discipline. But then at the same time, we went to I went to a military boarding school with my siblings as well. But four of us went to a military school. Yeah, Nigerian Navy secondary, Port Harcourt. Beautiful school. Shout out to Beautiful all the school. Nigerian Navy. Shout out to NNS, NMSS, <laughs> something like that. Yeah. <laughs> this video was sponsored by UW. If you want to save, if you want to save money on your utility bills, and put all your utility bills. In one. in one so uw utility warehouse put all your bills in one your electric bill your gas bill and mobile phone and broadband and boiler insurance so this actually helps and you can have them all in one bill so i'll put more we'll put information, information in the description there, yeah. below so you can reach out to this guy yeah this is my first time plugging it plugging an advert so <laughs> What was the common snack you took? So the common snack that was common. Mm. The common what? snack that was common. Okay, what was the common <laughs> snack at your school, at your boarding school that almost everybody took? It was the cabin biscuits. So you just like this, you put cabin biscuits in milk. You put shred. You get the cabin biscuit. Can remember was it Jacobs? Not Jacobs. Can remember which one it was. But if you're Nigerian, you definitely know the cabin biscuits. It comes in a red um, box. I'll get her to maybe float it around in a video and then you crush it. So it comes in four rows, I think, about <laughs> 10 or ten or four rows. So making it 40 or 44, one of them. So you get it, maybe take five or take a row. If you if you want to eat big, you take a row, then you crush it, put it on a plate, just similar to that, to the plates we had, and then pour a bit of um, powdered milk and add water. Uh, porridge, biscuit porridge. Yeah. Uh, or sometimes you don't you don't you don't crumble the biscuit. You could just just have the biscuits on its own. Then when it's when it when it's soaked into the milk, then you know it just gets a bit like mash or porridge, and it's amazing. I did try it one time when I was when I was in uni, I think, and it was so awful. It tasted so awful. Everything tasted nice. So I, I didn't understand why I did that. But, but then it was nice. It was amazing then. So that, but then you also have the Gary Soki as well, which is good, where you put so Gary, which is a normal delicacy or amazing food for Nigerians, and then you put some granules with that as well. So this was the common, mm -hmm. common snack that you know people took. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite? Kellogg's Complex, the pack, the mini packs. I think they're in. Um, can't remember how many. I think maybe four or eight. One. Yeah, ah, those mini okay. packs. I, I used I liked taking that to secondary school. It was like a, a a definite. So even if they didn't sell it in school, I made sure I brought that from home. Though they did finish quick, but yeah, I guess that was the favorite one. Okay. Yeah. So in the boarding school that I went to, so I went to three boarding schools. The secondary school I went to, it was like a normal. Malawian secondary school and the common snack was I guess majority everybody would bring roasted corn or ground nut or popcorn but my favorite snack I always made sure I had the round biscuits there was this biscuit called rounds they were small but they were coated in chocolate amazing and the coconut biscuits amazing as well so that was my favorite mm -hmm. um, so the can the, you soak those biscuits in water um, in, oil, in milk as well yeah, the chocolate one you can't, but it gets sticky now because it's mm, chocolate. Mm, mm, unless you oh, have yeah. coconut. I mean, talking about the coconut one would have been. Yeah, the coconut nice. one. I think you've tried it before. I've brought it here. Yeah, but not soaked in milk. No, no, no. no. Okay. They Should don't make them as good. A lot of things in milk. <laughs> they don't make them as good as they used to. Uh, okay, what was your favorite thing about boarding school? Uh, there's so many things. One, just you have one. One you have thing. Got to pick one. Oof. I don't know. 
Well, I know. I, I, I have many, so I'm only going to say the ones that's just popping in my head now. I think I enjoyed... Well, they were both in school. I'm trying to make my answer snappy here. In back in Nigeria, our system was junior secondary school, just as one to three. Then you get into senior secondary school, SS1 to 3. Same school, but I think what I enjoyed with boarding school was the traveling to school and then getting to school early when there was no one in school. Because I used to travel from Lagos to Pataco. And then... They, no, he used to fly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> why. <laughs> but coming early, school is so quiet that you could get the best lockers, best beds mm. and whatnot. And then I think also towards the period, maybe Christmas time, where you finished your exams. Well, not necessarily Christmas time, but even Saturdays, I like Saturdays, but Christmas time or when it's called a bit of Amatan, where the school looks, feels so dry, yeah? And you finish your exam, so it's just like, you know soon you'll be going home, but it's just that feeling like, I'm free, like, we're just chilling, nothing's yeah. happening, you know? And it was a really free school, you know, so it was fun. There's so many other things about secondary school, but I mean, we don't have that much time. We could probably dive in into that This later. could be a story for the whole I mean, day. I could have different, I could have different um, <laughs> episodes of this. It's, it was amazing. Secondary school was amazing. I loved it. Every bit of but it. But I think we hated it then. But I did. I did like it. You liked it? I okay. liked it. I liked it. Okay. I liked it. Sure, I, like I, I, I mean, hated boarding school throughout. Was, yeah. I, I think I did. Every time they dropped me off at boarding school, I would cry. It would be a whole sad day. My favorite thing about boarding school was in Chaiko. So it, it, in Malawi, where I went to Kombo, we called it in Chaiko. That was the day, mm. the last day of exams and the last, the day that you would leave <laughs> to go home. Mm. I think that was probably my favorite thing. But when I look back now, I would say that the thing that I must have enjoyed was just being there and my only responsibility being passing exams mm. and doing well in class. That's it. <laughs> That's the only thing that I guess I enjoyed. But other than that, boarding school days were sad. I was so sad to leave home. I never wanted to go. Like, I would have a whole day. Once I arrive, I will just be sad. And I think I made up for it in... Um, groceries and pocket money you know as as long as i had the groceries that i i wanted and i was given enough pocket money yeah you know, i mean missed enough to go <laughs> I, I enjoyed both at school because like i said we had provisions you could buy provisions in schools but you could also bring so i got to go to a point where we didn't like carrying or we liked travel light which i'd like to do even as an adult so we our parents gave us pocket money instead they gave us pocket money, then they gave us provision money. That was good. Good times, good times. Good times. <laughs> <laughs> they don't give me provision money now. Oh, I know. It'll be, now, it'll be nice to get some oh, provision money once in a while. I probably should give them now. Yeah. What was the worst thing? Okay, worst thing about boarding school. Okay, I must, I must be honest. My first day in boarding school, I didn't like. The very first, first day. The very first day, because I, I came to boarding school after the school had resumed because I was already in another school in Lagos but I had wanted to attend the boarding school in, in Port Harcourt so I, my mom dropped me off, she travelled with me, we came to school and then I met, there was a guy you know, met the same day but yeah that first day I didn't like it, I was like why the hell am I here? so that was my worst was day. it because it was far? no it was because school had already started so let's say school started in September and I came in October mm. so only that guy that was in school as well his name was um Edgar. yeah we became friends you know but so it was that was the only person i knew and then but then yeah i i, I even fell out with the first person i i got in contact with that was in i was sharing a room with as well but then i had my elder brother my immediate elder brother in school so the transition became smoother but the first day it's like i've just been dumped in this school which i wanted but then all my friends are uh, in lagos or so yeah. gone other places so I had to now make my friends, which I found out was easier, you know. But then it's it was very good at making friends. But then it was just that first day. But I still remember it vividly. I remember I can remember the whole yeah. Experience. But it was beautiful. It's 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 it makes you who you are. I love body school. <laughs> I wanna go back. I feel like people wouldn't go to body school. I don't know. Don't get it. Yeah, it's it's hard to get. It was a different experience. And, and it's like 
Oh yeah, no. I, I've been told we should make the answer snappy. <laughs> snappy, I can keep talking. Really I don't even know why I can talk this much on camera. Maybe See, I should do this for a little Ah! There we go. Babe, you need to keep your video short. You see what happens when you're in front of this camera, mm. how you just Now I know talk. what I need to do. Uh -huh. By the way, I'm starting my own channel. It's called Dialogue Loves. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's dialogue. Let's dialogues or love channel or dialogues love. Please decide. Help me decide. Dialogue loves or love channel. Not. I think let's dialogue. Yeah. It sounds good. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see it when we see it. Hmm? Okay. I mean, I can't ask her to direct it. She's too busy. <laughs> What's your next question, my dear? Okay. Then. And we're not in competition. Next, next she's a question. star, she's a star. What's my, okay, actually, my worst, my worst is, okay, so, my boarding school in secondary school, so, the last boarding school I went to in Malawi, we were required to wake up at 4.30 in the morning to go and study. Mm. And if you ask Jude, I am not a morning person. Like, the last thing I want is someone waking me up to go and study or do whatever. And she's very moody as well in the morning. <laughs> so that was my worst. I never liked mornings. I remember there was a day we oh, so I would literally wake up, we had to cross the road to go to where the classrooms were. So we'd wake up, get dressed, cross the road, get to the classrooms. As soon as I got there, I would put my, my book on the lap mm -hmm. and put my head on the desk. And that was it <laughs> until so you, six you come to you, six so you don't do morning, you don't you don't do morning preps? I just went to sleep now. And the, until one day they caught they caught me. They catch me. You got caught. <laughs> I got caught. <laughs> the, the teacher. Oh may you so rest in peace, Mr. Chidon, because he took me from the classroom, took me to the staff room. Mm. There was spare mattress in the staff room and told me to sleep there. And he said, Don't move until I come back. Mm. So he, I sat there from prep time in the morning. I saw people going back to the hostels. Until I saw people coming back to oh, the classes. Class, to, right. And you were your to, I was still, morning enough with. I was still, I think, I, I must have slept after that because I know I'm just not a morning person. So that was the worst. The mornings are the worst. I mean, I, I don't know, even, even thinking about the hardship in school, like, you know, we do the labor things, what we call grasses or, you know, having Fractions. to go fetch water and, you know, seniors dealing with you when you were younger. Like, I enjoyed it. Even though it might seem crazy, I liked every bit of it. Okay, the last question. This is okay. So we don't have kids, but yet. Uh, so this is just in general, right? I know people have lots of reservations about boarding school. People who went and people who did not go because people have had different experiences, right? But would you send your child to boarding school? Absolutely, hundred percent, hundred and four percent, one thousand percent. Don't know if I'll send them to the same boarding school I went to. Maybe, because I've been there a few times and it just looks too soft. Okay. Not in a bad way, but like, I think everything is all modern now. People have phones, people are all... But then, it could be the way I see it now, or, or see the kids now. Maybe that was the way our parents or previous people who've been to body school saw us as well, our generation. So they probably thought, ah, softies. And I, I think the whole, whole idea of body school is um, to prepare you for, for, for growth. Because I, I think I've discussed, I've discussed this with my missus. The friends I have now are the friends that I bonded more with when I was in secondary school. Like I could see a boarding school mate that I haven't seen in 10 years. And the way we greet or hug each other and the conversation and like, mate, they can sleep at my, I can sleep at, like we just get on so well as opposed to friends that made post-secondary school. I don't know if that makes sense because that six years, we all shaped our lives from being kids to semi-adults or, you know, semi-dependent kids. So it was, and you shared so much experience. And we ate together, we showered together, we slept together. Not that way, but... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was, it was an experience. It's like being in the military and you train. And, you know, it was a military school as well. You know, we even, like, there was so much experience. And I, I don't, I won't take it, I don't take it for granted. So... I would actually like my kids to go to a boarding school and why not? So they could grow, forge their own relationships and, and grow from there as well and build that lasting friendship. It's very important. I would definitely send my kids to boarding school. Apart, like, I guess just to distinguish our experiences, I do have 
quite a few friends from boarding school. I I mean, my final boarding school is an all girls boarding school. I was gonna ask which ones. Yeah. So, like. I wouldn't say like we are the bestest of friends, but I do have a lot of people I know from boarding school that we catch up and we can do stuff together. But right now, I guess my closest friends are from uni, mm. right? Boarding school, I, I don't know, maybe because it was a girl's school, we were young, we just know each other as like, okay. Are you a snob? Who knows? People used to say that. People think <laughs> I'm a snob, but I, I made a lot of friends. Well, but talking about you. I'm not a snob. No, you're not. No, I'm not. I I think it was I don't know. I, I, I don't think the friendships that you made are the same level of friendships mm. that I made. I think maybe you guys are maybe because you're guys and yeah. because we are girls. Oh, we got into we got, we got into a lot yeah. a lot of naughty things. And also I mean I mean we even had something called New Haven. This is a different it should be a different different um conversation. New Haven where we had our hostel had a roof. You can get into the roof. So if you didn't want to get into some activities in school, <laughs> climb the roof and hide. Right? Imagine doing that with your guys. And then, and we had different ho- hostels, you know. So and sometimes one person from another hostel will get into the New Haven and they will <laughs> in the roof and come all the way to our own hostels. And it's like, and you kind of know everyone, especially when they're your classmates, you know. And it, yeah, was, yeah, it, it, was, it was it was amazing. It was. It's, it was. Yeah. So yeah, definitely we would send our nostalgic children feeling right now to know. boarding school. Nostalgia. Um, <laughs> <laughs> These guys were naughty. They were boys. They were very naughty. Yeah, man, and we were kind of like low key naughty as girls. Mine was a missed school, by the way. So that's it from us. It's been a chatty video, honestly. This video is supposed to be short, but turns out it's long. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's it. This is probably not the last time you see of him, but it might take a while before you see him again because it took me how many days just to have him seated here to do this video. Can you imagine? Since I, when? I am available. This is what? I mean, Four days. They usually say they can afford me, so. Yeah, right. This video was sponsored by UW. If you want to save, if you want to save money on your utility bills and put all your utility bills in one. in one so uw utility warehouse put all your bills in one your electric bill your gas bill and mobile phone and broadband and boiler insurance so this actually helps and you can have them all in one bill so i'll put more we'll put text, information, information in the description there, below yeah. so you can reach out to this guy yeah this is my first time plugging it plugging an advert so <laughs> <laughs> is this supposed to pay me she's getting paid and, uh, uh, all right, guys. She's paid. I'll see you in my next video. She's getting paid. <laughs> I'll see. She's I'll getting paid. I'll see you in my next video where we have more <laughs> African content. All right. Bye.